In this video, I'll show you how you can properly export a video in CapCut. Now, this works for YouTube, it works for basically any video, any social media. I'm assuming that's probably what you're all going to want to use it for. So once you've got your video and you're happy with your project, you want to then go to export in the top right hand corner and that will open up this window here. And you can see the duration and it's going to tell you the estimated file size. Now, first you want to go to the title and change the title here to whatever you want. So I'll just change it to video example and then you can go to the export to window and you can then choose a folder you want to export this so by default it's going to put it in your CapCut local folder if you want to just put it somewhere else you can do I'll just keep it here for the sake of the video so once you've selected your folder you're then moving on to video exporting keep the resolution on what it recommends you can up it to 2k or 4k but if you don't have 2k or 4k footage I wouldn't even recommend that most likely you're going to want to export into 1080p there's no point rendering in 4k if your footage is only 1080p because all it's going to do is make your file size bigger for bitrate again you can keep it on recommended you can keep it on higher it again is going to increase the file size i would just keep it on recommended because you want to find a balance right then kodak again for youtube make sure you're on h.264 this is the best kodak and also keep it on mp4 frame rate if you have 60 fps footage you can up it to 60 fps again if your footage is only 30 fps just keep it on the default then make sure export audio is checked you don't need to change the audio format here but just make sure it is checked otherwise it won't export with audio then you can click export and it will then start to export your video now this can take a while depending on how long your video and how big the file is but once it's done it will then be in your destination folder so i'm not going to wait for this to end the video so that's basically all you have to do hope that video helped you out if you've got any comments or questions put them in the comment section below